To find the oxidation numbers for the copper here in copper 2 phosphate, we'll use these rules. Since there's no negative or positive after the Cu3PO4 2, it's a neutral compound. And all of its oxidation numbers on each of the elements, they'll all add up to zero. To solve this, we really need to recognize that PO4, this is the phosphate ion, it has a 3 minus ionic charge. So when we have an ion here, all the oxidation numbers must add up to the charge on the ion. So if you look at the oxidation numbers for the phosphorus and these four oxygens, add them all up, you'll get this 3 minus. It'll be equal to 3 minus. So on this side here, we have two of these phosphate ions. So the total oxidation numbers, they have to add up to 2 times this 3 minus. So we have to get a minus 6. So the question is 3 times something gives us a positive 6. 3 times positive 2, that would give us positive 6. And then positive 6 and negative 6, that adds up to 0. So the oxidation number on the copper here in copper 2 phosphate is plus 2. That's why we call it copper 2. If you need to find out the oxidation number on the phosphorus here in the PO4, there's a link in the description how you can do that. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.